This is a help video to show you how to use the user interface of the IC GeoMap application. So again, I want to point out that this link will take you to um, the help videos and documentation, um, and then the full data disclaimers, um, and where you can actually download the data. Um, we went over the layer list in detail in the previous video, um, but again, you know, if it's grayed out, it just means I need to zoom in on the map for that thing to show up, our parcels. Um, and if I want to turn on a layer, I just check here and then I check there and then make sure that it's um, not grayed out, obviously. So I want to go over the toolbar. Um, we've got previous extent button. So if I click that, it's going to take me right back to where I was. Um, this information tool, if I use just the point, it's just like clicking on the map. Um, but where the tool gets powerful, is when I go here and I click rectangle um, or or a line or, or, or something other than the point and I can go here make a rectangle and it's actually going to select all the information all these features that I have turned on so it selected 23 roads um, I can go to the 67 parcels that I selected um, and in here I can add to the results or subtract from the results um, so anything that I have turned on in the map that's checked on, it'll return information from. Um, this is the distance tool, and there's a separate video that kind of goes into detail on that, but you can measure distance and area. Um, Printing is pretty self-explanatory, but you can put notes on the print, um, and you can change the title as well as change the um, size of the layout um, and the scale. Um, so lots of different options here. And query and filter, there's another tool that um, goes into detail on these tools, but querying is just looking at the attributes of the data. So the attributes meaning all the parcel details. When I, when I click on this pop-up, these are all the attributes. So those videos will show you how to find information based off of those. Um, and filters turn things off based off of that. So my point tool, this is actually my drawing tool, so I can add a point on the map. It's important to note that I can't change the style of the point after I've added it. I want to make sure I hit styles first and then select it. Um, the same thing, you can add text to the map and you want to make sure that you're choosing the style you want before you place it on the map. Um, but you can move it after you have it on here. Oops. So if I click on this edit tool, I can now rotate it if I want, or I can move it. This edit tool is editing the drawings, and when you use the distance tool and it puts um, measurements, that's use the edit tool to get rid of those. And then this plot coordinates tool, I just made a, another video that kind of goes in details about this, but the important thing to note is plotting coordinates, knowing your coordinate system. Um, so up here, this is where you can search by parcel number or PID or road. Um, lots of layers are set up so you can search in this box for them. Um, this tool labels, I can turn that off to give me a little bit more map space. Down here, I can change the base map, um, and I've got an overview map. So that's kind of the basic functions of the user interface. 